Welcome back. Today we're going to explore clay. Our essential questions are, what are safe and proper ways to use tools and materials? What are three ways I can explore clay? We'll start by viewing pictures in a demonstration, then you'll have studio time, then it'll be cleanup time, and last we'll share and reflect at the end. The studio habit we're focusing on today is stretch and explore. Let's begin by taking a look at some artist examples. Alright, so today we're going to be exploring clay. Um, there are lots of different types of clay. Um, the kind I'm using is called Sculpey. And this is a type of clay that you can bake in the oven and it will become hard uh, once it's baked. You might have modeling clay. Um, <clears throat> that's a type of clay that you can just leave out and it's not going to dry out. Uh, you might have Play-Doh, something like that um, to work with. But I'm just kind of starting out by warming my clay up because the type of clay I have is pretty hard when it's cold. So the warmer it gets, the easier it is to work with. So if you're working with modeling clay or Sculpey, you're going to need to just warm it up by doing like this, going from one hand to the other, kind of just warming it up first. Um, I'd like you to explore at least three different ways um, to work with clay today. So I'm going to show you a few and then, and then you see what else you can come up with. Um, so now my clay is pretty warm. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it into a ball. So I'm going to just roll it in my hands like this until I get a nice ball. And I'm going to make what's called a pinch pot. So to make a pinch pot, um, you can roll it into a ball. You're going to stick your thumb down the center of that ball, not all the way to the bottom so it goes through, but pretty close to the bottom. And once your thumb's in there, you're going to hold it in one hand, and you're going to use your other four fingers of this hand to pinch the sides and turn the bowl. So I'm just pinching and turning, pinching and turning like this until I've pinched out the sides enough that I've made a bowl. Now when you're pinching, you don't want to pinch so hard that the, the walls are really thin. Um, with clay, it's pretty good to, to leave the edges, leave the walls of things um, fairly thick because a lot of times if, if you're using an air dry clay or um, really most clays that harden, um, if the walls are too thin, they get crumbly when they, when they dry. So you want to have it fairly thick. So that is a pinch pot. Um, another way to work with clay is you could make a coil pot or some sort of creation. So I'm going to roll, roll the clay into a big snake. So I'm using my hands to just sort of roll it out into a long snake. I'm sort of pressing down a little as I'm rolling it out. And then you can try just coiling this up and make one coil and then start lifting it up so like the next coil is going to be on top of that. And you can you can make a little pot that way by building your sides up with your coils and go higher and higher. And then you could either leave the coils there or you can practice smoothing them out to make the sides um, nice and smooth. So that's another way to work with clay. Um, one more way, we could try putting, actually maybe two ways I'll show you. We could try putting some texture on our clay. So maybe I want to make a clay tile of some sort. Um, I could flatten my clay out into some sort of pendant or tile. And then I could use maybe a pencil or some scissors or something to, or maybe, let's see, I have a little 
clothespin right here, <laughs> I could create some different textures on the clay if I wanted to make a pendant or some sort of design on it like that. That could make some textures. So you could try putting textures in your clay. You could try um, cutting your clay. Maybe I want it textured, but I want it in a really sharp um, square or rectangle. So I could use something to slice it, maybe my ruler, just to kind of make some sharp edges like that. Cutting those edges off. This reminds me of like a cooking show where they cut the sides off of the cake, you know, to make it nice and perfect. Okay. Then you could always um, use those sides and kind of attach them like this to build walls for your, to make a little pot or something, or a little container with some slab sides. Okay. So we're just exploring today, experimenting with clay. Um, see what you can make. See how it works. And then um, next week, we'll be planning out what we want to actually create with our clay. So today, no pressure. Just try to come up with at least three ways of exploring and experimenting with your clay. Now let's reflect on what you've done. Number one, what are three ways you explored with clay? Number two, did you make any discoveries? And number three, what ideas do you have of what you might want to make with clay?